Welcome, Pedal Nerds. Uh, it is Tremolo Friday, as always. No, we never do Tremolo Fridays. Today is Tremolo Friday, though. So, what are we doing? We've just done the diamond. Now we're going to do the jam. I uh, know. Jam pedals. From Greece. Hand painted, absolutely beautifully crafted, handcrafted, hand, hand crafted, hand crafted. Pedals, um, a different tremolo, and we're also going to look at the Vertigo by Source Audio, and then we're going to um, have another video where I tell you all about the differences and what I think is, uh, you know, pros and cons, because there is no one tremolo that fits all. So, uh, this thing is really awesome. Same thing I said about the diamond, they're all awesome. They actually are. But one of them might be for you, the other one might be for you, and one might be for you. You know, you never know. Unless you watch my video. I'm sorry, it's really hot. So, set up. Teleman by Maybach. Maybach. T-style guitar. Pretty damn awesome. Clocks in at about 1800 bucks. Maybe a little bit over. Really, really nice. Going into the Oco Diablo for some overdrive. It's here on loan right now from Toman. Pretty nice pedal so far. If one right I've heard. Going into the big chill by Jam Pedals. That thing just looks so freaking cool. Uh, going into the Bellwether by Walrus Audio for some analog delay. Going into the Fender Hot Rod Deluxe 112 uh, combo. Um, being mic'd with the two notes torpedo live. So no miking, it's going straight into the live. Okay. And we're off to the races. This is the clean sound. <laughs> Let's look at the controls of the Big Chill. We have two speeds, speed 2 and speed 1 for our French viewers, speed. Um, le depth and le level. I, I have no idea. Um, on a medium-sized pedal, it's not so big. I, I'm sorry, I had to... I, okay. <clears throat> it's not so big. That's what she said. It's also not small. That's what she said. That's my. That's what she said. Button. I don't know. Um, <laughs> really, not necessary to set myself up like this. I. I, I should make it more natural when they come. I think. <laughs> I know. Um, so we have an engage button right here, which will pulsate in the speed one. We have. Uh, a speed switchy button, which will pulsate right here in blue in speed 2. And then we have a depth switch, which if it is engaged, will pull depth to fully 100% on and off for those stutter effects. So you have an extra switch just for that. Level depth, which will be disengaged once you push this, because then it's all the way depth 
and you have square, sine, and triangle waves. Very neat. Speed 2 right now, as you can see, does not change my speed. Why is that? Well, because I have on the left side, which you can't necessarily see because I'm cutting out these pedals. On the left side, there's the output and an extra input for an expression pedal for speed 2. And I have this right here connected. Where, where, where are we here? The source audio dual expression pedal. It's got two outputs for expression. So that's connected and can control, as you can see, my speed with an expression pedal. On the right side is the input and another expression input for depth, which you could also control with an expression pedal. On the top is only the input for power, which is very, all these plugs are very high end and very massive. Nothing on this pedal is flimsy in any way. It's, it's tank proof. So those are the controls. We're gonna switch to speed one, a speeder. Sine wave, that joke's getting old. Not the sine wave, the speeder. Slow speed, medium depth, and let's listen to sine. It can go really fast. Kind of like the beep sound. You know that sound. Almost sounds like a note, but not quite. So. It already has a lot of depth right here, so a little bit less. For the tiniest bit of movement, just to give your sound a little bit of... What's the word I'm looking for? Movement. Let's engage the delay. Very, very nice, subtle tremolo. Let's go to the triangle wave. And the square. thing is once I engage this button this foot switch it will go 100% depth let's check this out
know what I think about the jam pedals. The big jail. Let me take some of my apple pear raspberry. Juice. Yeah. Refreshing. Okay. Well, it is pretty simple. The damn thing is fun. It feels super well built. It feels well are indeed well developed, well thought out, because of its three switches, of its um, expression pedal input capabilities for speed two and for depth. So this is a very usable pedal. No, it does not have tap. It has an expression pedal input. Okay. Um, what it sounds different than the diamond for some reason it, it's di very difficult to say w what is the pros and cons of a uh, a tremolo how what is the sound of a tremolo a tremolo fucking just goes loud and soft so what's the po i mean why would they sound different well they do they are the older kind of fendery kind of ones uh, uh, which also have like a harmonic kind of univibey sound. This is... I can't describe it. It's fun. It makes you f play creatively. It's a really cool product. Here's my gripe, which I already said on the diamond one, with tremolos in general. The speed. How do you use this, especially when it gets more loud and soft? The, the more depth you use, the more rhythmical it will sound. The more rhythmical it sounds, the more it has to be in the rhythm of the song you're playing. Now, especially if you're doing these choppy sounds, it is one of the coolest things to use this in a song, not just in an intro, but anywhere. Uh, this is what synthesizer people do with their arpeggiator sounds. Their jack, 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 whatever they are, they're we love this stuff and to go a little bit more modern this is a great tool yet how do you sync it to your song even if you can match the tempo perfectly which you won't be able to do with a tap which you won't be able to do with an expression pedal which you won't be able to do with a speed knob but let's assume you could go 100% dead on the tempo of your song still the waveform will not be triggered correctly meaning the waveform is running along with your song, but it might open up an eighth note triplet before your downbeat. So it's not duck, 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 duck. It's okay, okay, okay. It's like right next to your beats. Um, so the one way to do this is to do a rhythmical sound, feed this. Have, have it going on all the way through the song. If you're turning it on in the middle of the song, there's no way to do this. If it's in the, in the whole song, the whole time through, feed it so loudly to the drummer that the drummer can play on top of you and on top of that staccato sound, uh, which is very likely that in most band live or practice room situations, that's not going to happen. In a studio situation, trust me, we've tried this. We've tried it uh, with the Diamond, we've tried it with the Big Chill, I've even tried it with the Mobius with MIDI sync and MIDI clock. Even then, it's not really exactly where you want it. So I want to know from you guys, as good as these boxes are, how do you actually use it realistically, in time, triggered correctly at the downbeat of the waveform or at the zero point of the waveform in a musical context? Because I want to know. And I've, I kind of have studied this shit. I've run a studio. I, I've done this for quite a while. It's very difficult to do. I've done it last year live where the drummer and I, we both had exactly 140 beats per minute in our boxes. I had the Mobius. He had the, uh, he had his, term, he had his uh, metronome and I had to start playing and he had to start triggering his metronome so that he was actually on the downbeat and he had to try this several times and only when he knew, okay, now I'm in, then he started playing, which was in the intro. To do this in the middle of a song, let me know how you do it because I don't know how. Okay, um, other than that, absolutely, absolutely killer box, love the style, love the quality, 
Highly recommend it. The Big Chill by Jam Pedals. And uh, my comparison, there's another video for that between a couple of different tremolos. See you there. <laughs>